video from arrest, which has two Phoenix police officers on leave and under investigation. And we want to warn you, this video is graphic. This involves a man who shot at those officers first outside a gas station. They chased him down inside, and that's where the chief says the officers did not follow training and protocol. Brianna Whitney has that video and the fallout. The Phoenix police chief said what you're about to see in this video is not how they train their officers and does not align with their values as a department. Now the chief has not only opened an administrative investigation, but a criminal one too. This video now circulating on social media shows the moments after a man was arrested by two Phoenix police officers at the quick trip off 59th Avenue in Buckeye. Actions that now have these two officers placed on leave and have launched multiple investigations into them. As a citizen and a lawyer, I've seen many shocking things. This was in the top, top 1% of all shocking videos I've seen in terms of police misconduct. Phoenix police says the incident began when this man fired shots at close distance near a patrol car with the officers inside. One bullet hitting the car, then that man went into the convenience store with his gun with customers inside. The moments after he's placed in handcuffs are caught on camera. It doesn't excuse him shooting at the police. Uh, they have a right to, to uh, be quick with him. What they don't have the right to do is uh, shove a gun in his face, kick him, I mean, it looked like there was blood on the floor there. I mean, it was it was a shocking, stunning video when I saw that. Local attorney Tom Ryan says with the man already handcuffed and on the ground, these actions were over the top, but also dangerous as the officer repeatedly put the top of the rifle into the man's back. There was a huge risk that that gun could have accidentally discharged. This coming after the department is already under fire for several other excessive force incidents. That is clearly unacceptable. And it's why we have the Department of Justice investigating the City of Phoenix Police Department right now. Uh, the fact that they don't understand what is and what is not excessive force. New Police Chief Mike Sullivan making it clear he takes situations like this seriously and that the officers' actions are not how they're trained. He says he took immediate action to put them on leave and begin the investigations. They physically assaulted him. That is a crime what those two officers did. As to what could or what will happen to these officers, the police chief said they'll be waiting for additional information and for these investigations to wrap up before they come to any conclusions. Reporting in Phoenix tonight, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family. All right, Brianna, thank you. Now to the